hi everybody welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can create a pop-up form like this and a cda button which you can use to capture the leads coming onto your website let's get into it okay so first thing you're going to do is log into your hubspot account and ensure that the tracking code is embedded into your website so to do that i'm going to click over here i'll go to profile and preferences then i'll come to this section and under tracking and analytics, I'll click tracking code. So basically this is the code that you can send it to your web developer or anybody who is working on your team so that they can install it on your website. So what's gonna happen is once it's connected, whatever CTA button you're creating, it's gonna be reflected on your website as well. So you can copy it or you can email it to your web developer. If you are using WordPress, you can see the process and the zip code uh, to install that as well. Next, I'm gonna click marketing. I'll click lead capture and I'll click CTA. So then we're gonna click create. And over here, you're gonna see different templates that has been provided by HubSpot, which you can use uh, just to get a reference point. Or if you wanna create something totally from scratch, you can also click this icon over here and then follow the next steps. For this case, I will use HubSpot templates. And for example, I would say I am providing an ebook to the traffic that is coming on my website. So I wanna create more like a pop-up button for that. And this is something that's our closest match. So I'm going to click choose template and now comes the best part, which is actually designing this pop up form. So I'll type in get marketing 101 ebook for free. And I'll put a text over here that says limited time offer and I don't want this block. So I'll just click delete so over here. We want to insert a form and if you don't have a form, you can click create new form and you can give it a name. So I'll call this as ebook pop-up form i'll click create perfect so as you can see our email tab is reflected on this section and you can go in and change the content as well so right now we do have the email field now for example let's say i want their first name as well so i can click add a new field and i'll search for first name and i'll select that and as you can see the first name box is also reflected on this section i can also go in and change the alignment so it looks something like this so for the button text i can go in over here and change it as well and then we have a thank you page over here which is going to be reflected once somebody clicks this button so i'm gonna put the text on this section and i'll say something like thank you for filling out the form get your ebook here and just some link so it looks great and I can go in and change the style as well so I can make it bold italics and I can just play with the design elements of this text so if I want to preview what that is gonna look like I'll click this button to see what my viewers are gonna see when they come to the thank you page which is gonna look something like this now let's say you click the submit button but you want your viewers to go to a different landing page or another hubspot page or another url you can also go in and select any of these tabs for that now the next thing that i recommend to do is to set your contacts as marketing contacts this is important because it's going to tell hubspot that hey it, this person is like a marketing contact so we can definitely reach out to them if you want to send them any sort of marketing emails and information and things like that so then i'm going to go to the style section and over here you can change the format of this tabs as well so if i want it to have a bit more rounded structure like this i can select that and over here you can change the text so let's say i want to go for maybe like a pd sans text i can select that you can change the sizes the colors as well and also the color of the button then what i want to do is change the background color and I can go over here and select a different color of my choice. So I can maybe go for something like this or maybe like a nice blue color. Um, or maybe something like that. 
you also can make your background gradient which is a really cool feature because i actually love playing around with gradient colors it just adds a bit more dimension to your form and makes it a bit more fun so you can go in over here change the color and make it really nice and jazzy and i'll make that yellow looks good and next thing we're gonna do is click targeting and over here you can select how you want this form to be visible so first question is when should it be shown so i want this form to be shown after a user has spent like five seconds on my page so i can select this option trigger after elapsed time so i would say five seconds um, i also want it to be shown when the user has scrolled at least 30 percent of my page so that works as well uh, we also have some other options like trigger it on an exit intent when the visitor appears to be leaving your website or trigger it when there is an inactivity on your website so you can make those adjustments as well. So I want that this form is shown on all the pages of my website so I can click when website URL is all pages and that looks good to me. So over here you can adjust how often will this form be shown. So I want that this form is shown after every hour. So if a visitor has visited a website and they see my form, they should be able to see it again if they visit my website in an hour. So it's gonna repeat. So I'll click after a set time period and I'll click every 60 minutes. And yeah, there you go, looks good. Next we can click options. And over here you do have a choice to turn off this form on a smaller screen like your mobile and tablet devices. The reason you do that is sometimes because your mobile screen is so small, the form kind of takes up the entire page of your screen. So again, try and test to see how your form looks on the mobile screen. If it looks good, you don't need to turn it off. In my case, I feel it doesn't really look that good, so I like to turn it off. And over here, you can also set a date and time for displaying and publishing. So if you want it to be scheduled for a later date when it should go live, you can do that as well. If you want to also uh, adjust the unpublished date and time, meaning let's say you're running this promotion for next one month uh, for the people out there to download your ebook. And after one month, you you don't want to give away your free ebook. So you can set the end date over here as well. And now we're going to click preview. So now you can see what your form looks like on your computer screen. On the mobile screen, it might look something like this. And on the tablet, it should look something like that. You can also go in over here and select a page on your website. So you can see how that turns out to be. And once everything is good, you can click review and publish. And just take a look at all the adjustments we have made over here. We're going to click publish now. And I'll click OK and congratulations so our pop-up form is live on our website and that is amazing so all the leads that you're going to capture it you should be able to see it on your hubspot interface you can also see your overall engagement ctr submission rate and things like that and under form submission you're going to see all your entries reflected over here i went into my website and i just wanted to show you guys that this is what it's going to look like so if somebody's you know browsing through it they'll be shown this form and over here if they want to get a free ebook you know they can put in their information and now you have their email address, which you can use uh, to send them all these marketing emails and hopefully convert them into a sale one day.